Early this morning, a man was found in a critical condition with severe electrical burns on his face and torso. Once identified, the man was wanted in connection with a series of suspected abuse towards his ex-partner. I'm here with Eric Stevens, who was saved by an unknown vigilante. Eric, what happened? Oh, it's pure mental, man. I, I was just about to put my key in the door, and this guy came out of nowhere, pushed me back, told me not to go in, no. And was there anything unusual about this man? Oh, aye, aye. His eyes were glowing like he was on something. He told me I was in danger. He then kicked my door in, and there was guys in my house robbing it. They were armed with guns. And this man who stopped you, was he one of them? Oh, no, no. No, he saved me. He pushed me back. He threw some sort of lightning or something. A wee bomb or that. No, I tell you, they ran fast when they saw that, though. So, does Glasgow have an armed vigilante on its hands? Well, I hear he's been going about saving young girls. And he's hot. I wonder if it saved me next. We're live outside Party Police Station where we're waiting on Superintendent Sloan to come out. We're hoping to get the exclusive on the official police line as to the supposed superpowered vigilante. Superintendent Sloan, Superintendent Sloan, is it true that there's a superhero in this city? Look, there is no vigilante with magic powers. There's no such thing as a superhero. It's a rumour, a myth. Nothing more. Now, he's Lauren with the lottery numbers. Lauren, it's back to you in the studio. The rumours are true. Monsters exist in our world. You don't know this, but you've probably walked right past one. They take on different forms. Most of them look human. They want to live a normal life like you and I. But there are a few rogue demons who want nothing but death and destruction. But I won't let them have their way. Not in my city. Charlie can't make it. Fell asleep on the job. Why? You don't know me. That's a bit disappointing. You won't forget me. Are you some kind of monster? Look in the mirror. Now I'm going to give you the count of three. One. I'll see you later. Three. You should go home. Never a thank you.
No, I mean the whole win. Internet did thing. Like, well, I was kind of thought it was me, but... Silly, sad, pathetic. Uh, we're not that far, but... I was a bit surprised you asked me straight out, actually. You didn't even get to know me first. Well, what can say? I like being forward. And what if I wasn't going to say it was? Well, in that case, I'd let you know that I'm a guy who likes surprises. <laughs> Must be used to it, being a policeman. I've encountered a fair few surprises in my time during the police, yeah. I'm sure. So, what made you get into it? Well, let's just say I wasn't always on the right side of the law when I was a teenager. You know, I used to get into scraps quite a lot of the time, a wee bit of trouble. And so, I suppose I wanted to just channel my aggression, I mean my energy, into something a wee bit more useful. And how's that working out for you? I've got no complaints so far. Anyway, enough about me. What about you? I mean, you're an actress. That's got to be exciting. Well, why don't you buy me another drink and I'll tell you all about it. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Two six. Hiya. Oh, yeah. Can I get the same again? Superintendent, good evening. Evening, Douglas. This is Inspector Rebecca Monroe. Just been transferred to my department. I'm pleased to meet you, Inspector Monroe. Likewise. Now, uh, what's going on in here? It's hard to say. I'm not sure I believe it myself. Well, try me, son. I've heard a lot of stories. We've got a DCI downstairs. He was at the club. He's our key witness. Mullen. OK, you stay out here. Me and Rebecca are going inside to talk to Mullen. No one gets in or out that building. For God's sake, keep the press out. Yes, sir. Rebecca. Welcome to the party. You all right, Ian? Nah, Rebecca, not really. What happened to your mum? Well, we've seen some things, Chief. Some things we probably don't want to see. Demons possessing humans. Death, destruction. But this? Just get the shit out of me. What did you see? I think it was death. Death? Are you serious? Why, Chief? I mean, it came out of nowhere. It looked me dead in the eyes. You know, at the end of my soul. I was petrified. Do you think it has anything to do with Phillips? Nah. It seems different. I wouldn't put it past him. How did you get in? I'm resourceful. 
Well, I came in the window. Do you know anything about what happened here tonight? No. I only heard something about a monster, an explosion in a nightclub, and I thought it was a little bit too exciting for a Friday night. Well, we'll need to get to the bottom of it right away. Do we have a new player? This is Inspector Rebecca Monroe. She joined us while you were away finding yourself. Don't worry, Rebecca. It doesn't shake anybody's heart. Isn't she a little young to be an inspector? Superintendent Sloan saw some promise in me, so he promoted me to Special Inspector and put me on his team. Congratulations. So, this no handshake thing, is it a space issue? No. It's a I touch you, you get a shock of lightning, I see how you die issue. Sorry, I'm new to the whole demon thing. Okay. Now tell me what I need to know, I can get this sorted. I can do one better. I'll show you. This guy filmed the whole thing at the bar. He dropped his phone on the way out. What's she saying? I've not got a clue. Hey, 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 quiet. We need to listen to this. Miss Gallic. How do you know that? I studied it at college. You alright? Yeah. I'll be fine. My head's killing me. I'm late nights catching up with you. Never mind, it's okay. Just need to get this sorted. <laughs> we'll investigate it, okay? You'll investigate it? <laughs> no offence, Detective. Hey, that's Detective Superintendent now. Thanks. Congratulations on your promotion. Look, Jason, we've not always seen eye to eye in these things. You're a good guy, you know, but. She went away a while. Things have changed. Oh, really? Aye. And you are experts in interdimensional portholes, alternative realities, monsters and demons. Sort of, yeah. We've got Earth Division. The PM doesn't like stories of monsters being on our bed, becoming more than just that. We're training people to be stop this from happening, becoming wide scale panic. Okay? You'll get yourselves killed. Well. We've all been close to death now, haven't we? I mean, what else is there? Life. Live it. I'll deal with the monsters. So what, you're not going to help us on this? I need to do this on my own, Mullen. It's safer. I could have you arrested, do you understand? You are an own vigilante after all. Then throw me in a cell. Didn't think so. Is he going to be a problem? No, nah, he'll be fine. Right, we need to get that tape translated first thing. <laughs> first thing tomorrow morning we're going to see Phillips. Okay? Let's go. Call the police. I'm not here to hurt you. I'm sure all soccer say that. I'm being serious. You're in danger. Aye, from you. Thanks for pointing out the obvious. Look, it's hard to explain. Just leave me alone. my friend's list.
you okay? I'm okay. Are you okay? <laughs> Go after him. Wait. Wait. <coughs> that leg looks bad. You saw spot Rex burn this. I'm a student doctor, yeah. and I've been in Glasgow long enough to know about stab wounds. Maybe we need to get you to a hospital. No, I can't go to a hospital. Not enough for either equipment. Right, we'll go into my flat then. I need to go after that thing. That thing can wait. You can't go anywhere with one bad leg. Okay. <laughs> 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 That would be irresponsible, Ian. Come on, it's two in the bloody morning. We're the only ones here. The boys are lawmilling. You're just too worried too much. Aye, and you don't worry enough. Look, Ian, it's been a rough night. What did it? Oi, off the car, or I'll have you arrested for damage to a police vehicle. You hear me? That's it. Right, you two help me. You, off the car! <laughs> off the car. <laughs> What? What's he done, Luke? You all right, sir? You okay, Chief? He slashed me. That's deep. Terrible. Never mind. No. Oh. It's cool. Hello. This is slowing. We need an F division clean up. Immediately. Treat all your patients with paracetamol. To stop you from getting high temperature. Thanks. You're very helping me. Thank you for saving me. You do that a lot, do you? Let's just say trouble has a way of finding me. You have a hero complex. You like saving all the girls. I didn't mean it like that. I just. I mean, there's a lot of danger in this city. I've only lived here a few months and already I know the people trying to keep to themselves. And they have good reason to. Is that it? Spend all that time leading you into a conversation about how I'm new here. And that's it. I'm sorry. I just don't usually stare in for long after. 
it's alright. The guys don't tend to stick around once they get to know me anyway. I don't get involved. It's safer that way. How many people have you saved? As many as I could. Like I said, I hurt people. And you saved me. You're a superhero. Your superpowers and everything. I guess what they said was true. And they being? Back home in the Highlands, they used to tell these stories about the big cities and uh, this man that would lurk in the shadows with powers of the gods that were sent to protect the innocent. Pretty far-fetched, eh? Trust me. This isn't powers of the gods. All I know is I got this power and I try to make a difference with it. How? How did you know what's going to happen to me? It's complicated. Simplify it for me. I've almost got a degree, you know. There was a demon called Ames. They told me I could see into the future. You're sort of right. Now whenever I touch someone, the lightning connects us. I get a vision and get to see what happens to them. It's too painful. Yeah. What about friends? Family? They're all gone now. It's been pretty lonely life. It's only one I know. Am I going to be safe? You've got me to look after you. Can you stay? Just for tonight? I just, I don't want to be alone tonight. Hello? Hello, Mum. Becky, is that you? Is everything OK? Yeah, everything's fine. Sorry for waking you. It's all right, sweetheart. What's wrong? It's just work. I'm really grateful for the opportunity. It's just hard. I know. Oh, look, why don't you come up and see us this weekend, eh? We haven't seen you in a long time. It'll do you good. I'd love to, Mum, but I've got a big case just now. Well, I'm sure the world is going to collapse if you take a couple of days off, is it? No, don't be silly. Come on. I haven't seen you in ages. Your dad's been talking about you as well. Come on, what'd you say? I'll see what I can do, Mum, I promise. OK. Becky, are you sure you're all right? Yeah, I'm fine, honestly. OK. Bye. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the press, I welcome you to the official opening of the Medical Research and Diagnostic Facility for Children. None of this would have been possible without our generous benefactor. I found it difficult to get him to talk to you today and insists on no praise. But would you please give a very warm round of applause to the fantastic Mr Phillips. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you, thank you. It's such an honour to see you all here today for the launch of this amazing facility. 
The brains behind this organization is fantastic. And I'm just glad I could give them the financial backing they deserved. When my loving wife, Diane, passed away from cancer, I swore I'd use my money to help heal the world. Now I'm happy to take any questions you may have. Molly Dunn, Clyde Reporter. Yes, Miss Dunn, we've met before. I hope you will. Congratulations on your new facility. It's very impressive. Thank you. Was the funding achieved through illegal activities? Oh. Uh, I can assure you all, every single penny has come from my own pocket. But it is true that you were previously involved with black market racketeering, oh. weapons running, illegal activities. Like all successful businessmen, I've been trashed in the press. It's not surprising they've been targeted. It doesn't seem to matter how much good work I do, people only ever remember the bad rumours. And what about your connection to the supernatural? You've been heavily involved with ancient Scottish artefacts, mythologies, rituals, have you not? Should we not embrace our past? It's what makes us who we are today. Next question, please. Mr Fox! We have a few questions for you. Thoughts. I can't say they do, Inspector. If you don't mind me asking, what happened last night at the club? In 2007, you were connected with bringing a super demon, a queen, I believe, to our world. She possessed 147 people. Then you bargained with the king. Amy Campbell, she was murdered. And Caitlin Smith, she was put in a coma for a year. And where's your solid evidence to back those ridiculous claims up, Charles? As I believe it, you're getting drunk in a bar or in a coma. I get so confused. Look, Phillips, we have passed crimes here. I'm authorised to give you one chance and tell us the truth regarding last night's incident. And if I refuse? Then we'll lock you up. Forever. On what grounds? May I see it, Phillips? Your paperwork looks very suspicious. I'm sure I can find something. Look, I can honestly say I had nothing to do with the incident at the nightclub. I suggest you do some actual detective work rather than harass an innocent man. <sighs> Just give me five minutes, Will. Would you stoop to hitting me, Inspector? And what would that achieve, really? It'll make him feel better. Charles. A word, please. Is there any chance I could get a cappuccino? Look, Peter, let me explain. You're going to explain why you've got a well-respected local businessman in an interrogation situation. And I've got the press sitting outside waiting for a story about how we do things up here. Okay, when you put it like that, it's a bit difficult, yes? Good, I'm glad. I'm glad it's my job to be difficult. Well, listen, be honest with me then. Why did you drag Phillips in there? I wanted to ask him some questions about last night's attack in the night. It nightclub. wasn't an attack, Charles. Oh, it was a publicity Peter. stunt gone wrong. Is that what you choose to believe, Don't Peter? Start me with stories about myths and monsters here. My four year old daughter doesn't believe in monsters. So, I've got to ask you permission for every time I'm working on no, a case. Is of that course not. You know that. But just bear in mind, I'm the one that takes the heat here, okay? Know that. Well, come on then. What have you got on him? I've got some connections to his previous certain Charles, Charles, last year. Charles, Charles, you cannot keep chasing this guy down. He's not daft, all right? One day he's going to bite back and see when he does. You, Rebecca and Mullen are out of here. No, I wouldn't let that happen. You know that. I hope not. Listen. Let Phillips go. We'll Just keep an eye on him discreetly. But be clever here, alright? Use your brain. Okay? Okay, Peter. Thanks. Oh! You are coming to dinner tomorrow night, yes? Yeah. Went missing for the world. Excellent. Leave the car at home. Always good. Okay. Cheers, Peter. Welcome back, Frank. How was Prague? It was... liberating. I trust we can put our little misunderstanding behind us and continue with our professional relationship. 
I'd have no other way, boss. Excellent. Now, what do you know of this creature that entered the world last night? Uh, very little. My connections weren't aware of her arrival. No packs, no rituals, no sacrifices that we know of. That suggests something serious. Use your resources to gain me an audience with her. I've an offer to make her. <laughs> and if the uh, troublesome vigilante should get my way? Kel, I've run out of patience with them. Oh, yes, sir. Gorgeous. Okay, guys. Sorry. Just don't like a vampire being that close to me. Oh, you're no fun. Where's that sexy smile? I need your help. Okay, but it costs you. No, sorry. I meant it costs you with your help. And what do you have in mind? Something exciting. Tell the people that you've gone away. Now lift your hand. Run. What a waste of a perfectly good sandwich. Okay. I have cheese and tomato or tuna. Tuna? Ugh. Yeah, well, tough tuna. I want the cheese. What's wrong? I got attacked last night by two guys in hoodies with knives. Add to that a tall, dark-haired, handsome young man dressed in black with lightning coming from his hands, rescuing me. See, I knew you wouldn't believe me. I believe you. How does someone have lightning coming from their hands? Maybe they had some sort of equipment. Iron Man style. Iron Man? You don't know who Iron Man is? I do have another theory. Ah, the one about the man sent from the gods with the power to save all of humankind. Ah, so you remember that one? It's all I could think about. Well, let's not sit here wondering what's going on and actually find out what's going on. Is this going to involve comic books? Maybe. Ah, officers, so nice of you to join me. Ferguson, do we have to wear this bloody crap every time we come in here? Look, this is my playground, my rules. Yeah, it's not like we were doing some actual police work or anything. I do apologise. Like, right, okay, enough. Do you find them now? Philip's story checks out. We can't link him to what happened. Any illegal tracks coming? Nothing. It's like they're untraceable. Look, it's fine. Look, it's not like I have nothing else to do today. Sorry, Doctor. Go on. Well, well look, the contours suggest something. Otherworldly? Well, no, they're just very old. Look at the markings. Definitely. They're Scottish, all right. Yeah. And they're thousands and thousands of years old. Have you seen this before? No, I can't say I have. But what's great is the fact that it's managed to fool you all. Oh, what do you mean? Whoever's done this work is really proud. It's Scottish and it's Gaelic, but it's definitely time-stamped. Oh, come on, 
you tell us when it was made? Oh, my Gaelic is a bit rough, but I'd say last year. So, what, you mean someone's making these weapons now? It would appear so. Thank you, Dr. Ferguson. Right, you two, pull your resources. There's someone in this city knows all about this knife. I need to find out why, where and what for. Right, OK, look, I, I'll make a call. I think I've got a connection I might be able to help. Well, go, let's shake him down then. Ah, Chief, I need to go alone. You don't seriously expect us to let you go on your own. Look, Becky, right, I know you're new to this and all, but see, the Chief and I, we've got an understanding, OK? He's right, Rebecca. Me and Rebecca will go and chase up some other leads. You call us as soon as you get any answers. Once yeah. again, you're welcome. Thank you, Dr Ferguson. No problem, Fergus. Let's go. Who's the new knockoff? Frank Stone. Dangerous player? Definitely. We need to get in there now. I thought you'd never see. Jet Vampire! Jason! How's it going, buddy? Oh, I guess it was just a matter of time, eh? And you've got a lady friend with you. Well, ain't that just wonderful? I wonder how long it'll be until you lose this one. He talks too much. Yeah, he has that problem. Shall we do the whole, tell me what you're doing here. Well, I don't think I should. Well, I think you should. Well, I'm not going to. Yes, but I have the sparky sparky. Yes, but I don't give a shit. Or shall we just go straight to the killing? What, no big warning from Phillips? Uh, no. Phillips was dead. Simple as that. Let's go then. At long last! <laughs> now that's hardly a fair, old boy, is it? Yeah, I know. Yeah! I want to do this old school, let's go! Superhero. As much as I like to have my ego placated, Jason will do just fine. What's Philip's connection with this? What's your involvement with it? We are the ones asking the questions, Frank. Now spill it before my fang friend snacks on you. I'm not sure it tastes that good. <laughs> Try it. <sighs> Trust me, Frank. You'll make it hot. Well, you're supposed to have the connections to the, you know, the demon world. Why don't you just ask them? Let's just say I like to do things my own way. All alone as usual. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> now, Frank, my fan friend is getting impatient and hungry. What's Philip's connection? Nothing! And I'm being genuine. So you can kill me if you want. Let him go. If I find Phillips has anything to do with this, I'll stop you. Yes. Well. <laughs> so scary.
suggest you take your hand away from the table right now. Easy. Easy. You always were a wee bit slow, weren't you, Taylor? You wouldn't pull the trigger on your old mate, would you? On an old mate? Nah. On a ball bag that set me up, kidnapped my partner and almost killed us all. I'd have no hesitation whatsoever putting a bill in your head. Come on, Mullen. Even when I discovered you were undercover in Barlini, I never told anybody. And why was that? So you could set me up later on? And get your revenge on what you call it? Scum that put you away? Was they like that? You looked out for me in there. I would never set you up. I don't know anything about that. I do one thing now. Small time theft, that's it. Not murder and certainly not backstabbing you. Alright. Let's say I believe you. Can I get you a drink? No, I'm not Judy. Like well. Your loss. So what's this about anyway? I take it it's not a social call? No, it's not. Look, somebody's putting together a big operation. You know, it's almost as if they're preparing for a fight. We found this ancient dagger thing, but we reckon it was made somewhere in the city last year. Now, you wouldn't happen to have come across anything like that when you were working for Phillips, would you? Ancient daggers? No, nah, not really. I remember that Phillips was looking for some kind of old knife, but I was long gone before that. But, in a game. What was it? There was this company run by this really weird guy. He kept trying to pass stuff on for me to sell on. I didn't like the feel of it, so I didn't bother. He runs a factory on the south side. You reckon he might be running this? He's got the money. It's the address there. Alright. Cheers, Taylor. See you later. No problem. Guess that means you owe me one. Huh. Alright. You see all these boxes? Well, act like I never saw them, alright? Seriously? Aye. Seriously. With all the warehouses, there must be thousands of these. Someone's ready for a war. Split up and get to the roof. Right. And no biting. Yes, boss. Are you okay? Promised I'd see you again, Mackenzie. Associating with vampires, I see. Who's this? This is Miss Jones. An old friend, I think. Jason and I go way, way back. Don't we, darling? You could say that. Is she on our side? I'd like to think so. I used to work for Mr Phillips. Not my best career choice. And what made you change? Well, <laughs> yeah, he does have that quality about him. What? <laughs> This world is worth fighting for. If I can help you, Jason, I can atone for some of the wrong that I've done in the past. Are you hurt? <sighs> Nothing I can't shake off. What are you doing here? There have been rumours of war. Something that will change the world. Forever. I needed to look into it. See what I could do to stop it. 
And who shot you? That would be me. Dun, dun, dun. Please. No, you have my permission this time. It's over, Mackenzie. It's the end of the line. Which is a shame, really, because I kind of liked you. You're forgetting one thing, Frank. One oh, pray tell. What is that? My friend Lexi. She's a vampire. <gasps> yeah, I know. Another one gone, Mackenzie. You're next! Now I can understand why you did. You won't let me fall. I mean, I did just try and kill you and I did kill your friend. But I mean, really, is it is it productive to let me fall? Yes. Shit. <laughs> Just rush into this. Oh, don't want to spoil sport. Okay, girls, just give us the crystals and we'll call it a draw. What do you say? I say you should die. Can you come and get us? 
not losing anyone again. Yes, who is it? Who's there? Answer me! <laughs> Don't suppose I could get a drink, could I? You're very lucky to be alive. I've survived worse. And you say Miss Jones has betrayed us? Completely. The old bitch has joined their side now. How disappointing she always had such promise. I've never seen a woman so skilled in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Yeah, well, at least the vampire's dead. That's one less freak to worry about in the world. It's an interesting world, Frank. How so, boss? We're surrounded by monsters, demons, vampires. Ah, excuse me. I'm just freaks of nature. It's not right. That's a bit narrow-minded, Frank. Well, I'm just sharing my opinion, boss. It's good for my anxiety, apparently. Only a small minority of the population knows a tooth about the world they live in. Yeah, the world would descend upon mass hysteria if it knew the truth. <laughs> Sounds fun. For you, maybe. But I like my chaos to be in order. So, what are our plans regarding Mackenzie? Nothing for now. He's a wounded soldier. All alone. For now, we need to make contact with. I'm sorry, my dear, I don't understand you. My handunye, and you lock your can and send me nach to dive. I mean, you share your as a horse to go eve, near a hanan, sarami brian. I didn't ask for you to play with my brain. So, whatever you did, reverse it, or else. <laughs> Please forgive my associate. He tends to act before he thinks. He has a lot to learn. Hush, and Sulia. Now. How can I be of service to you? It's Misha, a Hali Affair. Vivishu a Geramor. I guess Hanak me hooked. I'm very honoured, Kayak. I only wish to serve you. Ha undula da hilano, a drog spirit, vahula ela. Am I wrong in my assumption? Hanan ye good that me drog spirit. Han ye unta Australia near Suarcha. Ha Mishi nam vanjiu nam mesk. Hai mo kruachu gek tosh chentur, ersen on the root a cholinuk. Which was? Ersen kruach hosh der na biyan and ten na kriuch, san chir a churug ma chendun ye kefein geshiari. Now, how can I be of service to you? Hai in krugachug, achu ma vela yuk agis hamir ersen at the chugas. Amar achsen huot ma yeruk in la. Ari mi ari ish glen volerem, agis ni mi amopar asur. And what is it you wish of us? A kuchikin a dola hoor, a chagorem. I'm sure lightning vigilante is no match for you, Kayak. A chor es am dragorem, si a ni a lina. Ha mi fem a chor es si ers an an yem i shirur a hosht. How will I find you? Kuri mi fezorem. Isn't that just dandy? End of the world. Just what we need. Don't worry, Frank. I'll ensure our safety with the sacrifice of this girl. I'll find her, and I'll bring her here. Jason is the key. Find him and we'll find the girl. Yes, sir. A 
Let's go through what you found. Okay. If you go through the newspaper articles, in really small local prints, we find stories of gangsters, drug lords, rapists, all found with severe burns in either their torso or face. Burned by Jason? Hmm, I guess so. It would make sense. In some of the reports they say the effects are so intense, it looks like they've been exposed to mass amounts of radiation. Jason's starting to sound dangerous. Well, look at the big picture. Drug lords, rapists, bad men. True. Anything other things that attacked me? No, nothing. It would help if I knew what they looked like. Did you hear that? Is it you? Anybody else think of that? <laughs> Poor little Mackenzie. You're gonna watch this. It's gonna be fun. Let me like Now that was fun. Rest easy, son. We've still got a long way to go. Good morning, detectives. Morning, Douglas. How's it going? We searched the entire place, but they knew we were coming. This entire place cleared out? We found some boxes. Were there any old looking daggers left about? Yeah, we found some daggers, and they matched the description of the ones that you found before. Anything else? There's some blood up on the roof. And, oddly enough, a pile of ash. Right, grab an evidence kit and go gather some of that blood. We're going to need it tested. Yes, sir. You two stay here. Fill out the paperwork. I'll be back in a minute. Where are you going, Chief? Just let's see. I've got a hunch. Emily! Emily! Emily? It took you long enough to find me. You should have called. I'm being traced. It's not that easy to pick up the phone and say, Oh, hi, honey. How are you? I'm fine. I've been shot. Come and pick me up. Are you OK? <coughs> I thought I told you two to stay with Douglas. Uh, we had a hunch you'd be up to no good. You must be Mullen. Nice to see you. And you must... Who is she? This is Emily. She used to work for Phillips. She works for our side now. Are you sure she can be trusted? No offence, but you worked for Phillips and we all know what he's like. If you can't trust me, you'd all be dead. Emily came to me after my coma. Told me everything about Phillips, demons, all of that. That's how this team was formed. So she was your secret source then? Interesting. I'm on your side. I promise. I took a bullet from Stone. I thought you'd appreciate that, Ian. Oh, I appreciate that, all right. That little prick's dead the next time I see him. Enough vendettas. Let's deal with this thing what's happening now. 
There's an army of demons waiting to do what their master tells them. A demon at the bar. The old looking hag, right? The description fits, <laughs> but she's not an old hag. From what I can gather, this is nothing that we've encountered before. How are we going to stop her? I don't know if we can. She's got a firm objective. She won't be stopped. We'll find a way. We need to find Jason. He's from the other world. He might be able to help us. Well, do you know where he is? I'm not sure. We lost a friend, a vampire. He was with us when we were fighting Stone. But he took it pretty badly. Do you blame him? I mean, at least we've got each other. He's got nobody. Right, enough chat. Let's get back to the office. Put a search out for Mackenzie. Frank Stone too. If we find him, we find Phillips. He'll definitely be connected with us. Anything this powerful will draw him out. He want to be part of it. Right, OK. Let's go. Come on. At least another three hours before you can use your powers, Jason. Who are you? I'm your uncle, Alec Mackenzie. You're lying. My uncle Alec died years ago. That's what they want you to believe, boy. Yeah. Open it. Jason. What do you mean more of the same? That demon you've got resting inside you. I had the very same one before you. Wait, Jason, I can explain. I don't need an explanation. Well done. Thank you, Lucas. Close the door and I'll explain everything. Six years ago when it happened. I'd lost my job, my house. Your aunt had left me. I thought there was nothing left to live for. I know how that feels. I was sat in the car. Gary's doors were closed, engine running. I felt it take me away. Then I was almost blinded by this bright light. A man stood in front of me with long blonde flown hair and wearing the most peculiar pair of red pyjamas I'd ever seen. <laughs> Ames. Yeah, it was him. He told me he was a peacekeeping demon, charged with protecting mankind. I thought it was hallucinating. I was sure it was on my way out. Well, then he asked me if I wanted to change my life. And that's when it happened. He put that demon into my soul. My eyes went fire as it went into me. I remember. Well, then Amos trained me. He taught me about all my powers and how to use them. And I knew what to do with them. I tried to save as many as I could. Dad told me and Michael that you were dead. Yeah, well. It's easy to ignore the demons and the monsters when you just ignore them. I don't have that luxury anymore, do we? 
Ja tā atpēc ar krīvi problēmu. Bija visu apsinā. Mums pie vēl meikli iesa from them? Nē, es meikli. Is that what causes trouble? Not anymore. He's finally settled about then. The last time I saw Michael, it didn't end very well. Brothers are complicated. Trust me. And what about him? This is Lucas. Lucas, could you go outside for a moment? He seems quiet. Yeah, he's been like that ever since I saved him. What happened? His parents were murdered in their sleep. I got the vision wrong. I thought there was three of them. Turned out there was five. Can't save everybody. No. But at least I managed to save Lucas. At least that's important. I didn't want to risk his life any more than it already was. So I went to see Ames one last time. I told him I wanted the demon removed. I agreed. Only as long as I came to see you when you were needed. I'm really happy for you. Really. This does not explain why you are here, or why we are in the middle of nowhere. That girl's life is in danger and I need to help her. You're not ready to face the scavengers. I saw you fighting. They were ready to kill you. I can take them. I was just caught off guard. I had some issues. Oh, no matter what they are, they're not important. There are bigger issues at hand. And that is? The kayak. <laughs> That's what the painkillers are for. What the hell was that? Have you ever heard of the legend of the... Sorry. There's a legend that the earth was shaped by that creature. She was empowered by the gods, given a mighty hammer that she used to shape the mountains and hills of Scotland. Well, I've believed every other outrageous legend, so why not this one? When her job was done, she disappeared. Free to live out her eternal life in whichever way she saw fit. So why is she back? I don't know. All I do know is that I have to get you ready to face her. Why? If she shaped this country the way it is, then why did I have to stop her? The prophecy. Prophecy. Fantastic amount of prophecy to add to the list. Jason, this is serious. You have to concentrate. You chose to live this life. Now listen. The prophecy predicts by her hand. Try to reason with her. Stop her. Kids like Lucas need a safe world to live in, eh? And you're the only one that can help her. All I do is I let people down. I'm not a hero. Jason, just think of all these lives you have saved. All these terrible situations that have been avoided. How many people are living thanks to you? Then train me. Are you sure you're ready for this? I'm sure. How are our guests doing, Frank? Oh, just fine, boss. I do apologize, ladies, but the kayak demands that I bring you to her. Please don't take it personally. 
I beg your pardon? Jason! <laughs> that little nuisance was taken care of. He won't be pestering us with a daring rescue. He'll save us. It's what he does best. He's gonna get your arse! <laughs> so what's the deal then, boss? We just have to wait and see. I met with your contact as requested. He told me to give you this. Thank you, Thompson. So what's new, boss? We're going on a little trip. Rebecca. You're welcome. I don't trust you. I beg your pardon? Just because you're getting fired into the Chief doesn't mean I trust you. Well, Becky, it really doesn't matter whether you trust me or not. I'm here to help you stop something really bad from happening. Why are you doing that exactly? Personally, I'm quite fond of this world. I don't want to see it disappearing. Do you? Well, obvious. I don't know. So what? Wipe everything out, start all over again, is that the answer? Maybe. I don't know. Well, I know. Some things in this world are worth fighting for, and I'm not about to give up now. Mmm, my head's killing me. I need a smoke. You girls want to come? No. no. Save yourselves. Ian, your contact. What about? Well, he told us about the warehouse. Maybe he knows who commissioned the daggers. What daggers? What do they look like? Why are you asking? It's important. I need to see one. Do you mind telling us why? When I first heard about this war, I interrogated someone who told me about a weapon. I'm an expert in weapons, so if I see the dagger, I might be able to find some of the answers that we need. Mm -hmm. You'll kill us with the dagger. Enough! Get the dagger for her! Chief. Look, Monroe. I appreciate your concern. She's on our side. Chief. She always is cheerful. Well, to be fair, she's just been two months into a job and she's already presented with the apocalypse. Hi, right, look. The poor girl's stressed. She'll get used to it soon enough. Well, I hope so. I wouldn't want to see her snap under the pressure. Don't worry about her, okay? She can handle herself. Calm yourself, Jason. Take a deep breath. Purge every negative thought from your mind. It's a lot of thought to remove. Try. Now, charge your power. How does it feel? It feels stronger. Good. Now open your eyes and hit me with it. What? Hit me! Again! You're not playing fair! I'm okay. How is this treating me? You're feeling angry yet? A little? I need you very angry. Is that supposed to annoy me? Nope. But this is. I can see why your father preferred Michael. No, he didn't. Are you angry yet? No. I'm in control. Were you in control when Lucy left you? Why are you doing this? I need you to embrace the demon. No! Yeah. 
nothing back. Kill them. All these people have died because you don't have any to save them. <laughs> That's it. You okay? Yes. Your mind is focused. I feel different. So you should. We've just connected you more to the demon inside. Does that mean I've lost touch with my human side? You'll never lose your humanity, Jason. As long as you never forget the good memories. What do we do now? You fight the kayak. Don't worry. You're immune to her name for just now. But when you stand face to face with her, you're going to experience unbelievable pain. Don't worry. I can handle her. Good. You're all we've got. Do you know what this has to do with that girl, Lena? The inscriptions are vague. But the kayak wants her for something. What now? Take the little road to the left. Keep going till you hit the motorway. Lucas has filled the tank. Just keep going. And what about you? You don't need to worry about me. We'll meet again, I promise. Rebecca. Mum? What are you doing here? I want to see you were okay. That phone call left me really worried. When did you get here? Is Dad with you? You must have spent a fortune coming down here. But that doesn't matter. Are you okay? And yes, your dad is with me. He's at the hotel. We've got a wee place next to Kelvin Grove. You shouldn't have come. Why? Look, he sounded so troubled. I'm a police officer. I'm always troubled. Well, more than usual. A mother knows. A mother knows? Mum, you should have told me you were planning on coming. Why? You'd only have stopped me. Exactly. It was madness to come all this way just because you were worried. I'm not Jack. I can handle myself. Well, excuse me for caring about my daughter. Mum, just go back to the hotel. I've got some work to do in here and then I'll be there as soon as I'm done. Your dad will be really pleased to see you. I'm glad. I've got to go. I'm sorry. We better hope Jason comes back. Why, is this serious? Very. These symbols, they represent the Kalyach. The what? The Kalyach Boar, to be precise. She's a legend. I guess they were right about her. The Kalyach Boar was a blue hag said to frequent parts of the Scottish Highlands. Associated with winter, she is said to be reborn every All Hallows' Eve to bring the winter and the winter snows. She carries a magical staff which freezes the ground with every tap. Well done, girl. Google. You gotta love it. But if that thing she says she's associated with winter, then what the hell is she doing here now? Maybe something's driven her out, forced her out of her routine. Monroe, it's Jason. Loud speaker, put them on. Hold on. Good to hear you're still alive, Mackenzie. Good to be alive. Where have you been? Relaxing. I decided a wee night away in the country would do me the world of good. Seriously, Jason, where have you been? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. We can't chat all day. This is our last night before this mystical creature decides if we are worthy of existence. So, what's our play? We find out where Phillips and Frank is. He took a girl I was looking after. She's connected to the Kalig. You sure about this? Definitely. Frank kidnapped her. She's in Fulton. No problem. CCTV from there can get us a look at the vehicle and we'll take it from there. Great. Get on it. Yep. We Chief. need to move on this now. Charles, this is going to be rough. Listen, Mackenzie. You try to tell me we should stay out of this, son. Let me tell you something. We don't take orders from you. We can deal with a lot more than what you think. Got it? Okay then. I thought you wanted to do this alone, Jason. I've learned that I can't do this all by myself. Took you long enough. Just let me take care of the Kaylik, okay? 
Just remember, we've got your back, alright? He's gonna need everything we've got. And why is that? Natalia? She's got a large following. The scrolls, passages, everything, history, it's been wrongly translated, misinterpreted. And that means what exactly? These daggers. There are hundreds of them in the factory. They're not exactly limited edition souvenirs. Someone has created an army to make sure that the Kellya survives. Sounds like I'm going to need my baseball bat. OK. Yep, got it. Thank you. The van's been traced to an industrial estate outside the city centre. Do you want me to get uniform to move in? No, no. It's likely to be well guarded. We'll go alone. Just be ready for war. Mackenzie, meet us at the station car park. And be ready. sure about this, boss? Yes, Mr. Thompson, you are protected by the word of the kayak. Have faith. I'm sorry for doubting you. I understand, but believe me, all will be well. Enjoying the fresh air, Frank? I smell demons in the air, boss. Disgusting, so it is. Get used to it. Soon this world will be ruled by them. And where does that leave us, exactly? We will be rewarded kindly for assisting Kayak. Don't worry about that. Well, I never worry, boss. Come, let's not leave her waiting any longer. I've got a really bad feeling about this one, boss. Be calm, Frank. Everything will be fine. A very colorful. I've sent it with your people. Where you come in? Oh no, no way. Not until we get some sort of security. You know, when the ship falls. Frank, you will do as you're instructed. Oh no, 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 no way. Uh, uh. Not until I know we'll be kept safe. Well, no offense, but. I don't generally tend to trust anyone that, you know, floats. You know, call me paranoid. We require nothing, Your Highness, nothing at all. Please accept my apologies. I shall collect the girl for you. I assure you, Kai, I can't require nothing. You speak for yourself? I guess Jay have the wit, man, do I just want to be kept safe. You know, once you guys do whatever it is you do, I don't want a part of it. Just keep me safe and away from it all. I guess you said Jay have the wit, man, Are you all powerful, Kai? Is any feat possible to you? Be more Then I wish to be reunited with my wife. I don't care of the risk. Give her back to me, I beg of you. Thank you, Kay. I'm incredibly grateful. OK, 
Okay, gather out. Here's a plan. Go on, I trust you. Myself and Mullen, we'll take care of any demons that try to stop us. Rebecca, you and Emily, I want you to go and find the missing girls. Jason, you take care of the kayak. Wait a minute. Rebecca. Armed and ready. Ready for anything. Let's do this. We will, of course. Well, come on then, let's go. Don't touch me! Jones, don't go in the warehouse. Frank's in there. If you go in there, we all die. <laughs> what are we supposed to do then? Right, what we'll do is, if they both come out with a girl, we'll chuck them both in the car and drive off, alright? Agreed. That way the vision won't come true. The descriptions are vague. Okay, who wants it for something? We need to let Frank take her. What? Are you out of your mind? Trust me. Lena is important to the kayak. This way, we can bargain with her. Right, change your plan. Mullen, you and Rebecca cover Jason. Myself and Emily, we'll go and get Sarah. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Let me go! <laughs> what do you want from me? Davi What's wrong, Frank? I hope you're not developing a conscience. Not at all, boss. It's a new, wonderful time. What do you want from me? But why? That's not fair! Girl's about to die. I think she's entitled to a little chat. So let's talk. relationship in history, have we? Well, in this line of work, what do you consider normal? True. I suppose it'll get better once we stop this from happening. Well, I just hope Jason can stop the kayak. So do I. Right, come on. Let's see if they So you're the almighty Kaelic I've heard so much of it. Agus is too and Tamatan is the genuation of Persa. The one and only. Ha ha nyelu, nadu aina, ha kaha un kuchika. That's right, we're on his side. We'll stop you. Ha nye, ha fiu inela aun, fashke er mo klaun. If I happened to say no, would that convince you? Shinge yor, ha nye er sho abunti norut. Well, this does concern me. That girl is innocent, and those two are as bad as they get. So if the stories about you are true, then this concerns me very much. Kai, allow me to dispense with them for you. The time is running out. I've been fighting your kind for a long time now. Trust me, I can take you. Well, my guidance teacher did always tell me to try new things. What I really want is a superhero temping agency, so I can take a break. But for now, I'll challenge you. Hey, we got your back, Jason. Man, this 
just about. Was he meant for you? Stop, look after the chick. You sure, are you okay? No. Right, Bobak, you're under arrest. It's over, Mullen. There's no point fighting it. That thing in there is going to destroy your precious superhero. And we're all going to wish we were somewhere else. Can't say you seem too happy about your new boss, Frankie boy, eh? Regardless, I'll make sure you don't stop her. Oh, and why's that? Because I love being on the winning side. I don't think so. It's all right, we're the good guys. Are you all right? I'm much better, thanks. But we need to get out of here before it. Sounds like I spoke too soon. That's it, boy, except your face. Do it, let's do it, go! I've got to be holding it for it to take full effect. No way, Emily, no, no, no way. Look, it's okay, Charles. Look, I can buy you some time. Look. Save, Emily. The, save the girl! Emily! Come on! Do you want your son? It's over. She embarrass a hand and go if Hanur in Gossag or Savaluga. Save us! You were trying to kill me! Han ye and Nian, Sauna Hurig, me she ers and do ye and. Then why did you send those things after me? Hi and Kur, Gust a horse to come. Is anyone else confused? Ha an kod ya a kamaniach ji an er chi an go kriech. Han yel gin yar stakem tuljuk. 
Sounds like my kind of heaven. Then why do you need Lena? She's only human. It's too dangerous. Haniel ne fash new canary of Kayar is Lena Anche. I'll do it. You can't. It's too dangerous. You protected me, and I appreciate that. But I understand now. We were supposed to meet. You were supposed to bring me here. I got a headache when I first met you. The same as when I heard the name Kalik. Jason, what's going on? The Kalik's telling the truth. I accept my responsibility. Thank you, Jason. What happens now? He can a call a room I guess a heart chase a girl. Be on soul shows a vulture. Es on tresha highest. Mara yal a good be where the home is a vulture. What does that mean? That means you're going to be spending your next thirty years of your life in prison, you prick. Nice and safe. Thank you, Kaya. I can't. Go and put an ambulance. Get him in there. Now what happens? Oh, Lord knows we've lost tonight, even if they're not gone forever. Sloan! Peter, what are you doing here? Don't you start me. I implicitly told you not to antagonise Phillips. I said you put your whole crew at risk. But what do you do? You defied a direct order. Listen, Peter. Don't you listen to me. I can't protect you from this. What the hell's just happened in here? Sir, I can just explain. Hey, I'm talking to Sloan. I'll deal with you in a minute, Monroe, all right? Sir. Well, look, Peter. I know you don't want to believe it, but monsters are real. Please, don't, don't start this again. Listen, it's true, sir. That's why we set up the after vision. You know, and it's too much to go into, but there's demons from other worlds and dimensions that have caused so much death and carnage and all we try and do is keep it under wraps. Why should I believe a single word of this? Huh? Trust me. You should believe them. This world is not as it seems. There are creatures from other dimensions who can come into our own quite easily and they will stop at nothing to cause us pain and death. Trick here. Huh? Am I supposed to just ignore this? Lie to the press? Let this happen? Well, if you don't mind me saying so, Peter, you could lend your support. Jason, is the world safe? They've got us. Walls fall down around you Let your enemies surround you I'll be standing right here by your side Tragedy may give no warning Night may not give way to morning But look in my eyes There's no need to hide If your back's against the wall Only strength
strength enough to fall Nothing left to give at all You will always have a hero